I don't even know how I first discovered your work, but once I did, I was like, I got to meet this guy because you're a really talented dude. How did you get started as an artist? Uh, well, I appreciate it because going, I started in art school back in like early 2000s and, uh, you know, just an associate thing. I always loved art, but I didn't have like that natural, you know, other guys could just naturally draw or they had all the extra, they knew everything about Illustrator and Photoshop. And I was kind of the guy in the middle who always had the idea and as time has went on and started to like finally get the application stuff down and really starting to finally see in my head and put it out there. So in the beginning, it was it was tough. You know, I'm just trying to find that niche. And, you know, people like you, other people who, have, who are out there who support it, it's kind of like a little bit of like, hey, you know, keep going, keep going, keep going. I love the one of the Lakers. Uh, it's the state of California and it's got the circle of all the championships there. That yeah. one's been moving pretty well for you, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. Talk to me about the inspiration behind that one. That one's crazy. I saw Drew Brees in a, uh, at, at the end of a game, in a post game, and he had a shirt on, and I think it had like a Florida Lee, and it was like, you know, it was outlined, and I looked at it real quick, and it was like, wait, wait, wait. It's, it's, it's funny how sometimes these design, this idea will just smack you. And I'm sitting there, I was like, wait. California outline I could put it and I already had like the little the chalk marks of the championship and I was like okay this we're gonna merge this together it, it takes a you know it takes time where you're going back and forth and making sure it looks right and that's kind of actually where that inspiration came from tell me about the time when George Lopez connected your work with Vin Scully it was the moment it was like one of these lifetime moments so a mutual friend worked with George and he's always been very supportive of like hey I like that I like that shirt you know send me some send me some and one day I had an old school Vince Scully, just his face, and I silk screened in. He was probably like when Vince Scully was like 30. So it was like young Vin. And I put it on there and he's like, I'm going to get these to Vince Scully. I was like, oh, okay, okay. So I printed a dozen of them, dropped them off. And sure enough, a couple of weeks later, you know, he tags me in an Instagram post and it's him, you know, passing this shirt to Vin. And the look on Vin's face was like, oh, are you kidding me? Like he looked, he, he looked like a little kid receiving candy or something. He had this look on his face and I was like, oh man, that's it. I don't have to design or do anything else. Like the guy who was a soundtrack to my childhood, you know, with, with Chick Hearn growing up in LA, like he saw the shirt and his look co-signed it. I'm fine. I'm done. I think I took a week off of not doing anything. 